Saw doesn't work. Interesting. Interesting. There are a lot of skills that don't work, and I wish I could disable some more of them, but... Wow, that's a long reload. Uh-huh. You do keep bandit passive, which is pretty interesting. But I can't really use it with a smoke bomb very well. I I can already tell you I don't appreciate this loadout very much. <laughs> Art does work better, thankfully. I don't even show. Like, it doesn't... Uh, pick up my abilities or anything. Which is very nice, at least. Still has like a billion second cooldown though. Uh, that should probably work better with the knife. I just want to see if there's something back here. At least the rebar has pierce. Uh, what's the thoughts on the crowbar wanting loadout? Um, this isn't my favorite loadout I've ever had, but you know. Nice. I like trying to make things work, so we'll see. What I need is probably to rely on supercharge here, right? For the bosses and everything. You can use rebar for most, but... Bye-bye! A lot of pierce though, right? The other thing is, too, since we can't run into anything with our ship, we can't stop the ship. You have to go through the whole duration. If you remember the weak points, uh Oh, hey. What the fuck? I almost missed this guy. I uh, will do it. Probably need all the AoE we can get right now. <laughs> There's like an AT tier or something, I'll take it. I want stuff that could proc up supercharge. Supercharge proc coefficient is fucking ridiculous. Uh, I will take, uh, you know, what's the value on that? 4,000% damage? Which is crazy, right? Because people are like, holy shit, 4,000% damage. They just get 8,000 with a crit, right? They're like, that's insane! Railgunner's OP! <laughs> and then meanwhile, headset is 10,000% uh, damage, AoE, uh, non-crit, and uh, up every 10 seconds. No one bats a fucking eye, dude. Oh, come back. But, I mean, you know, the proc coefficient on this thing is kind of insane. The rebar is actually kind of fun to use as, like, a, a non-multi-weapon, too. <laughs> Shoot a fucking rebar out of my gun. I can't see the rebar, too. It always makes me happy. There's a giant fucking piece of rebar on the ground. Captain Shotgun Loader? I don't have to imagine it. I got it. And it was fucking insane. I actually quit the run on Sage 1 because the run I had was so good. Like, the loadout was... It was, it was actually too much. Running the DLC last week for the first time. Really? That's a year late. <laughs> it's crazy to think, like, it was, like, a year ago, though. Pretty much. It definitely doesn't feel like it. it feels like only, mm, a couple months, but at the same time, it was a lifetime ago. Mm, mm, mm. I already have a Prion. It's my R right now. It's just for Eclipse because I usually die in Eclipse, but not Monsoon, even on E1. So the only real difference between E1, E2, and Monsoon and stuff is just, like, fighting Mythrix, right? Um, there's no, like, scaling difference or anything. So is it, like, the Mythrix fight that's, like, giving you trouble? Yeah. Uh, make sure to build up enough mobility, right, for Mythrix. That's the best thing. Dude, no. I need that pot. Might have to get bands right now. Fuck, I can't even be anywhere near here. Uh-oh. Why can't you... Just go right now? Is there a way to get better at it? Just playing the fight, man. <laughs> That's all there is. There's no magical solution you can really find online besides, uh, you know, just understanding the fight. You can study the fight, like... Maybe if you watch the run and you write down like what he does and like if you're that kind of person, but um, Mythrix I mean, but honestly, the best thing to do is just kind of jump in. Even if you lose, it's uh, gotta learn some way. Feathers though help. That's, that's kind of like the main thing, I think, for a lot of people. Keeping an eye on where he is is also important. I see a lot of people that run away 
and don't really know what's going on behind them. They just know there's a guy with a hammer, but they don't know really what they're doing besides that. Watch what he does and try to react by, you know, jumping and using movement abilities and stuff like that. And that's always a huge help. Never bother in 250 hours, rather obliterate if there's an option. Champ. Nether is my favorite part of the game. Let's still have Void Sense carrying me right now. Rubber Bandit feels fun. It's interesting, and it's not unfun. I just wish I had more damage uh, cycles, or faster damage cycles. So I don't have to rely on doing something once every, like, three seconds. Uh, Phase 4 Mythos should have better AI because him just running around shooting crystals at you isn't the epitome of immersive gameplay. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I, I think Phase 4 isn't well designed. I think it's the designed around a novelty experience and once that goes away you realize that it's just not really fun to play you walk in a circle and you hit him and then if you hit him with like one good damage attack you just kind of win and if you don't have like a good damage attack you just end up walking around him in a circle for like a minute which isn't hard necessarily um but it just feels like why but like all of mythrix isn't really like well designed ai either though if we're just being honest Dude, I want a fucking Shadow Swing. Like, there's ramps in the middle of the arena where... Where did that go? If you stand on it, the the final boss can't uh, figure out how to hurt you. It's like, what? <laughs> I do enjoy the fight, though. And obviously I enjoyed the fight enough to beat Mithrix over a thousand times, so... But, you know... It's okay to look at it also and say they could have done better. I need to find some other way to deal damage that's not me hooking rebar. <laughs> Do with more of a cinematic kind of where you lose rather than actual boss phase, because use currently novelty as you say, which makes it not too dissimilar to a cutscene. Eh. I don't know, even it just sucks. Because obviously you have a lot of people that really don't like it. Human chat, I've seen them throughout the years, and they don't get to enjoy the rest of the fight because that novelty part exists. It's a very polarizing phase, and I say that as someone who thinks it's okay. Fight Voidlane once? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Voidlane is another topic. One that I, I don't want to go into right now. I was having a good day, dude. What the fuck? If you want to give me a Shadow Spin anyway, I'll take it. Ow, dude. That ATG is calling something, dude. What path do you have? I have bandits. It's whatever character I'm playing. Harpoon? That's way better than Shadow Spin, actually. You're right, you. So we have mods for it. It's true. But man, you know. <laughs> At least the game is really, really uh, well made for modding, I suppose. That's the plus side. Phase 4 or Mythic 4 has always been that it sometimes locked me, a player who isn't very good at the game, out of builds, which makes Phase 4 significantly harder. I mean, that's fair. It does make it harder. There's no build that's impossible, but I mean, it's true. Higher proc is more chance to proc or more damage. It's more chance to proc, but it does affect things like duration on duration-based effects like bleed and flame and stuff, which can lead to more damage. I was just behind the tree, Jesus. Good thing I saw it up here. <sighs> it just takes the fucking wind out of me to see a, a Bayas. You see the red, and you're like, holy shit. And then you're... <laughs> so you get it. God damn it. I came and afford it. Thanks to Pillar Skip. True. Technically. I'm gonna take some of these out. Take a few. Dude, we're gonna just like fucking blast Mithrix and. It's Frost Frolic. Don't do it, dude. Don't manifest the Frolic. Ah, I'll take it though. See? We got it, we got it. Mocha? That's way better than more boss damage, I think. That's an ATG, baby. I don't know where that went. Oh, and we also get a attack speed for rebar too, which is actually really good. 
kind of solves your problems. It feels so weird to have the cooldown meter and then just shooting the <laughs> shift work. It kind of works. It speeds me up and gives me armor, but it doesn't collide with anything. Nice. Super nice, actually. Cross pose me being so easy. Yeah. I think they're really fun, regardless, like, both. Because one, you have one that, like, has massive proc damage. And another one, you just have, like, you know, total control. I think both have their uh, values. I don't think there's a scrapper, so... Unfortunate. Not that it really matters, you know. Let's speed up, though. Alright. 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 That ATG got the other Titan, because it's like the only thing alive at the time. Our whip? Honestly, I'm happy with that. Big spot bonus with R? Yes. We have a lot of crit with this build, actually. This is turning into a really fun build. We found three shurikens over the course of the, uh, the stage as well. So we're powering up shurikens over ATG. No, but they do work well together. Just like they're working well together right now. For this build, I'd rather have uh, ATGs than Shurikens, but... Right, because we have such a high proc coefficient with Supercharged, we're just eliminating the game. Um, that'd be better if we could use it. <laughs> and with how slow Rebar charges, we pretty much have a Shuriken for every... every shot, so... Nah, it's a difference between one is multiplying damage and the other is a separate base hit. Which it has like a really strong base damage like attack, but and I think shurikens are very good though. Like I think shurikens are one of the best stacking items in the game. I could very easily say that. This build is actually working out surprisingly well though. Scorpion is normally just better. It depends. In this situation, yeah. I'd say Scorpion mostly is better. I found a feather, so we're good. There are a few builds that like having Shustis on. No equipment, huh? Hmm. Brit is actually so useless in this build. Oh, that was one. We do have a Scrapper too. And AP rounds. We could really honestly go for a, uh, just a burst Mithrix build with Supercharge. Holy shit, it happened. That's why you have faith and you wait. Um, I always have the habit of checking my card cooldown now before I buy anything in a shop. It honestly saved me so much. Like, I know it's fine right now because I just did it, but it's like, can't help it. Are we actually going to play a skip with FMP? Because I feel like it's going to happen. Uh, let's go. I think we get enough AP rounds too. We can we can burst them. If it's... We're also doing just a lot of fucking damage with Shuriken. We're doing what 800% damage with Shuriken. That's pretty good. And then if we proc anything off it, that's also like uh, you know, how many TGs do we have? Nine times damage. <laughs> Seventy-two hundred percent damage. I'll take Mungus. Do I have any Mungus? Oh, good. Alright, I don't need you anymore. Nor you. Am I actually gonna keep Bayos so I can skip? Also, do I need Shattering Justice? Hmm. Uh. Mm. I'm like caught between like kinda wanting to do Poders and not. Because I know it would take a long time, but... Ah, bye-bye. I like having the backup mags for air stall, but four of them is a lot, man. We don't really need slug. I think we're good, though. But yeah, skip coming in huge. Maybe. Or, I'm gonna wait for 30 minutes. <laughs> quail? I'd almost be willing to get a quail, but... A Clover would be good for my insane ATGs that I have. Afterburner? I don't think so. If I have to, looks like I probably have to. Dude, I don't want a fucking Afterburner. Ugh, god. 
It's like the worst ship to get it on. Mm. Painted rifle is actually good. Actually fucking true. Need to keep the repulsion armor. Doesn't it only reduce damage taken by a flat five. It does, but it does help a little bit, especially when we're doing blood pillars. Because otherwise, I'd have to uh, take permanent damage from blood pillars. Easy. Thank God for these like outer things, because they help me a lot with the. No, don't put me up too far. Ugh. It's almost teleported me down, dude. Holy shit. Charge it up. Bye. <laughs> yeah, we'll just wait for the other one. How about that? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> See ya. He runs away at 17. <laughs> I just caught that. Yeah, Afterburner's helping out, dude. I get armor whenever I use it, so. GG. <laughs> Supercharge, dude. I told you that's what's gonna fucking blap. Blap. And we had fucking Behemoth and ATGs and bands. God, dude.